Yes people, what's happening? Welcome back to another video on the channel and it's time Premier League restarts today as Chelsea travel to Goodison Park to face Everton and the sides have just been announced with uh, Tommy Tuchel going strong and going with a team that we expected. Um, Ingol Mendy, um, Reese, Chilwell, Kula Bali, Dave Captain, Thiago Silva in the middle uh, Kante, Jorginho and then the main front three of Havertz, Mount and Sterling, the new boy. So, um, yeah, happy with the lineup. I probably would have played cover over Jorginho, but let's see what happens. Everton look like they've gone with a 5-5-0 five, five, at this point. So, yeah, they they haven't got a proper number nine, so we've got to deal with that threat. But, um, yeah, we've got to go and do the job. Uh, obviously, the last four times we've gone to Goodison Park, we've bloody failed every single time. And, um, yeah, we haven't won there for six years because the last one before that was a draw. So, yeah, six years. And that's actually when Conte won there, when we won the league. So, um, yeah, need to get off to a good start. As we've seen, Arsenal went to Palace last night and got their job done in their first game. And a lot of people were raving about them. Fulham held Liverpool to a 2-2 two -two draw. What a point for Fulham. Liverpool didn't look great today, let's be real. But we also just saw Spurs beat Southampton 4-1. So teams around us are all doing well. Arsenal and Spurs are the main ones. The teams are, that we're going to be competing with for those uh, European places. We've got to go and do the job to uh, match them. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed we can turn up. And, um, yeah, I'm excited for Chilwell and Reese to be back in the full-back position. So, um, yeah, let's hopefully start the season well like we did last season. And, um, yeah, pick up three points. So, yeah, up the chills. Let's do this. Come on. I thought he was off. Yeah, I did. Ah! Oh! How late let's have a look. We'll see anyway. Oh, can they shot spilled? Pickford. I thought he was offside. Let's have a look. Get, oh, he's yeah. off. Fuck, man. Oh. Come on, penalty. Good forward ball. Who played Sterling? Forward ball to Chile. Chile makes the most and gets in there. It's in there. Come on. 1 0. That man, Georgie. That's over. Come on. That was rubbish. That was really bad, actually. We'll take it. Come on. Yes, people, Everton nil, Chelsea won. Big three points to start the season for the Blues. It wasn't great. It wasn't convincing, but you know what it is, three points, and that's all that matters. First time we've won at Goodison in five attempts, so it was nice to break the Goodison curse. So, yeah, what can you say? Um, not a great performance, but three points. Um, yeah, a couple individuals played their part in a... Uh, Gritty, but enough to do. Kula Bali, debut, very solid performance. Can't argue with that. Came off with cramp, that's the only concern. But it should be alright for Spurs next week. Thiago Silva, my man of the match. Just the bollocks. We all know this. So good, so calm. There's a few times where Everton looked like they could get in. And he was there to sort of danger out. Cucurella came on, looked lively, looked decent. And yeah... I believe he's going to be a good signing. And, um, yeah, Sterling was our best attacker today. But, yeah, midfield is where I worried. Like, today in the midfield, it wasn't a great performance at all. We just missed something. And, um, yeah, hopefully we can get a few, well, another player in. Hopefully De Jong, who can uh, change it. I just It's just annoying. It just feels like, whether it's too short or it's the way they, they play as players, that it's always, like, the safe option. And there was times in that game where if we looked a bit more positive, we could have been in. However, like times when we did look positive, we we was getting in and causing a problem. So, um, yeah, room for improvement, yes, of course. But you know what the main thing? Start the season off with three points. Got it not to be there today. Got it to miss that one. But I'll be back for Spurs. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. It's obviously going to be a tough game. They won 4-1, like I said earlier. And, um yeah, it wasn't convincing, it wasn't great, but it was enough. And a clean sheet is important. Everton just... Every, like, I can't believe how big Sky were bigging Everton up. They didn't do anything. like they, Yeah, they had a few times when they looked like they could get in, but Thiago Silva showing his class stopped them. So, um, yeah, 
work to be done of course but we are behind everyone else it just feels like and um yeah the big test is obviously sun uh, next sunday where we face spurs and um let's see what happens but yeah three points we broke the goodison curse and that's all i'm happy about so yeah we move on and i'll see you boys next sunday for spurs the big one second game of the season first home game it'll be nice to go back to the bridge for the first time since May. So, yeah, fingers crossed we get the job done. And um, I will see you for Spurs. So, up the chills, we keep moving. And maybe, you never know, a few more signings could be on their way. There's obviously talk for Farnham, 85 million. Whether or not I think he's worth 85 million, doesn't matter. He, he can be, become a world-class defender. And he's shown at Leicester he's a good defender. Especially with his injuries and um yeah De Jong 70 million looking quite likely um yeah he should bring a lot to that midfield and hopefully can get the mo the forwards like more involved because I feel like that lack of midfield to forward is quite worrying and um yeah hopefully we can bring in a forward who actually wants to work like Sterling but is more of obviously a number nine because that's what we need but yeah overall decent days work and um yeah, goodbye to the god, Marcus Alonso, all the memories. He's off to Barcelona, as we've all heard. So, yeah, disappointed to lose him, honestly. I thought when it mattered, he stepped up. But there was games where he thought he isn't good enough. And there was more than just the one game. But he done his job and he, um, yeah, he loved the goal against Spurs. So, yeah, we love you, Marcus. But, yeah, like I said, I'll be back for Spurs. The first match day vlog of the season. And... Um, yeah, plenty more content to come your boys' way. So, yeah, stay tuned and up the chills. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It means it all. And, um, yeah, up the chills.